and welcome to this Scratch tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about different ways of motion and moving things in Scratch. So let's get started. So to begin with, the way things are made in positionally in Scratch is that there is this grid that you can imagine. Something like this. Where each position has its own coordinates. And in here in the middle of the screen you have the coordinates 0, 0 which you can see by these little numbers down here. As you can see they're very close to 0 around here and then as you move to the right the x value will increase but the y value will stay sort of the same. Whereas if you go back there and move it upwards you will see that the y value is increasing and the xy value is staying the same. And this is actually the way that uh, things usually work in computer games where you want to determine or the computer want to determine where something is. So now if I want the cat to move from this position to this position I can use a command within the motion category to make it slide from one position to another. So let's do that. Uh, the code is called glide one seconds to xy and those x, y of course refer to the same coordinates that we talked about before. So let's say that I want it to slide to something like 180, 0. Then this, when activated, will cause the cat to slide towards the right. However, if I push it again, the cat will stay in position because it's already on this coordinate. So instead, we can add another one, which slides the cat to the other side of the screen. That's a negative 180 and 0 again. Now pressing these will cause the cat to first glide to that position and then glide over to the other one. Um, there are other ways to make the cat move as well. For instance, we can create an event that goes on forever where we basically want to point the cat towards the mouse. And we can do that by picking up the motion and point in direction point towards let's see yeah the mouse pointer put it inside the forever loop with the mouse pointer and then also make it move a few steps every time it does that and finally we want it to start when we press the green flag now if I press the green flag we will have the cat start moving in the direction of the mouse and thereby moving to all sorts of directions and coordinates. So that's some ways to work with motion in Scratch. 